We want to use bicycles as a tool for social change and for environmental change. So we are like a book library in a sense. We lend out bikes and it's a gateway into the bike world. So we work with the leaders that emerge through the bike library to find out what are their specific community needs. What's the Karen community's needs? What's the Latina community's needs? What are their issues and concerns when it comes to bicycling? When I was in Kenya, like where I come from, especially in the village, uh, women are not allowed to ride bikes. I rode once in Kenya, just once. So, and, but I didn't know the rules. But since I joined the class and uh, we could go in a group with our teachers, I gained confidence and uh, got used to it and I became brave. And I can ride my bike without fear. The change we want to see is that biking is something that's accessible and, and relevant to all of our diverse Twin Cities communities, not just you know, what it's been traditionally in the past, but every new immigrant group that comes to the Twin Cities that they feel, hey, I can ride a bike, this is great, I can enjoy the benefits, the health benefits, the environmental benefits, access to jobs and education. No oportunidad. Fue una conexión con bibliotecas de bicicletas. Dar una bicicleta a una mujer sin recursos y gratis. Más que nada, este, lo usan ahora con, como transporte, como para su salud mental, para eh, cambiar su rutina diaria. So it's really important that, you know, participants in the bike library and other community members are sharing what's relevant to their community and what needs to change when it comes to cycling laws, cycling infrastructure, and cycling investments. So it's that personal change, and then it's the cultural and societal change.